Not only is this man is uh, a Guinness world record holder, an All-American wrestler, uh, has had a documentary that has won uh, Emmy Awards made about him. But he did all of this um, after he was born uh, without legs, raised in foster care. And he is just an absolutely incredible person. I I'm sure a lot of people know we we're talking about uh, none other than Zion Clark. Zion, my brother, how are you? Good, man. Good. Just another day. You know, it's raining out here in L.A. It sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we have some, uh, you know, <laughs> some rare bad weather out here right now. I know, but uh, you know, besides for that, life is good. Uh, I set two more world records like two weeks ago, and uh, now I'm some. I've been in training for my fight. I'm roughly five, six weeks out from December seventeenth, uh, where I'm gonna be on pay per view, and I'm gonna be the main event, and I'm gonna knock this dude out. You know, I'm training with the best teammates, and little guess that little boy I ain't scared of you, man. So if you're watching this, I'm gonna knock your teeth loose. I'm going to rip your throat out. So I, 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 this, is, this is how it's going to go. <laughs> I love it. If, and if people aren't aware, because I know I didn't say it at the top there, you are taking an MMA fight. I, I'm interested in, in hearing everything about the fight, who you're fighting, uh, where it is. And and I know you have some pretty famous training partners, including AJ McKee. Yeah, um, it'll be in San Diego. Um, I keep, um, I, I, I'm, honestly, I don't care if he feels disrespected. From it, but I keep forgetting my opponent's name. That's how much I'm <laughs> focused on my, on my like. That's how much I'm focused on my training. Wow. And I'm focused on what I have to do because uh, I know everybody's watching me to see how I move. They're all looking up me and seeing how I move. I could give a damn about how you move. I got some of the best coaches in the world: uh, Antonio McKee, Jason Manley, and then my teammates AJ McKee, uh, Kimbo Slice Jr., Joey Black Eyes Davis, Jalen. Like all, all, a lot of my teammates are some of the most decorated fighters on the planet. And I had the pleasure of training with people like Rampage Jackson, Mike Perry, and uh, Mike Chandler, and all these big, like big name guys that are still doing damage today. Uh, it's definitely been a blessing. And I'm just run, trying to run this shit up because it's not just a rinky dink fight. This shit's going on pay-per-view. This shit is a, a legit sanctioned pro fight. Uh, some of my teammates are fighting on the same card. I'm just wow. the main event. And um, it's, uh, it's gonna be big. Zion, what and 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 I I hope I'm not asking this in an offensive way. The the person you're fighting, uh, what's what's their uh, um, are they an amputee? What's what's their no, physical no, condition? It's just like like if you walked in the cage with me, uh, you would kick my ass. Guy. Well, you would kick my ass. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I know that much. Yeah, it's, no, there's no argument there. It's, it's the same as it is as it's the same as it was for. Uh, it was the same as it was wrestling for me. And, uh, you know, I just wrestle against able-bodied people, and I beat able-bodied people. Now I'm fighting able-bodied people, and I'm going to knock out able-bodied people. It's as simple as that. I'm a fighter. I've been – the next year marks 20 years I've been a martial artist. I'm 25. Wow. So let's just say that. Zion, how different has it been since you were a all-American wrestler at, at Kent State coming in to your first MMA fight? How different has the training process been? Um, anything that's carrying over from, from your college career that's going really well for you? Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, absolutely, man. Uh, you know, wrestling is the basis of all styles of martial artists. Wrestling uh, dates back to ancient times when they were doing it for survival. And um, so wrestling is definitely gives me an edge when it comes to fighting in general, because, you know, I could strike with you all day, but what poses the biggest threat is me being a wrestler, being able to get under your legs or grab your head and be able to move your body around in ways that you probably won't be able to move me or move anybody else if, if, they're, if they're not wrestlers. So like, not, wrestling yeah. has been real, like, just like snap downs sink like regular shots like just as like i would wrestling but instead i might i might throw an overhand right and then go for a shot or something you know just something different you know i i zion as you were talking there i'm, I'm thinking you know i i bet a lot of people look at this like you're the one at a disadvantage but is there in a way an advantage in that you're a fighter like this opponent of yours has never seen before and um, certain things he's not going to be able to do, obviously, that he would typically be able to do. So in a way, uh, is there a certain yeah, well, advantage that you have? I mean, most people think, so there's one rule, you can't kick me in the head, but obviously I can't kick you either. So like the two rules kind of, it, it equals out. Right. So that makes it a fair fight. Uh, you can still kick me in my neck and below if you want. But here's the thing, these guys, 
uh, my teammates in there, they they understood very quickly that if you stand straight up while you're going against me, I'm a wrestler. I'm not going to get kicked, and I'm going to just grab your legs, and I'm going to take you down because that's my first and foremost best skill. And um, so these guys, if you're smart, you're going to come down to my level, uh, and you're going to fight me. Because if not, I'm going to take you down, and I'm going to get on top of you and beat the shit out of you, and that's just how it's going. Now, I'd love to ask you, Zion, too, because, you know, like getting ready for an MMA fight, not enough for you. You also simultaneously are setting Guinness World Records. Did I hear that you set the the new Guinness World Record for highest box jump with your hands uh, and also most diamond push-ups in three minutes? And I'm I'm very curious how many you could do. And uh, yeah. I'm sure yeah, lot, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the box the box jump record was 24 inches, right? Uh, and then I jumped 33, oh and then uh, <laughs> the diamond push ups the record was 240. I did 248. Wow, and, uh, yeah, so I was doing roughly 100 push ups a minute, roughly. Yeah. That's incredible, and you smashed the uh, the box jump record. That's incredible yeah no, no it's funny i i, I kind of had a good feeling about that one honestly uh well you weren't even close just, you yeah you could have done it with yeah, one well, arm my, i'm sure my my rec my my personal record where i've like absolutely pushed the limits like 36 <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> you're ridiculous yeah. numbers, i mean it's not even close from the i like I, 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 I said i set the i set the record but I wasn't pushing myself as hard as I should. But that's because I like you only get a couple chances to do it and do it before they're like, all right, enough. So like I jumped to 24 easy. And then I was like, all right, 33 easy. But then I didn't want to like end it on a on a mess up or a mishap. Mm-hmm. So uh, I was just like, all right, I'm gonna stay there with that. And funny thing, I failed the diamond push-ups the first try. Really? And uh I had to come back around and smash it the second time. Wow. Yeah, so two forty. That was a that 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 one seems really. I mean, the box jump too, but two forty. That's a lot of push-ups in three yeah. minutes. Whew. So Zion, yeah. is that is that how you primarily train? It's more dynamic, kind of fast twitch. Because because watching the way you move, you jump, you lift, you're extremely explosive. It, it's crazy the the way your fast twitch fires and and the way you can move. Yeah. I I gotta think that's been an asset to you training for this MMA fight, and that's just kind of been your mo your mo of yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm definitely an explosive fighter, even when it comes to like. If you watch my wrestling footage from high school all the way through college, everything is fast, efficient, quick, and explosive. Now, I just transferred that motion and momentum I would put into wrestling to get angles and get a tactical advantage to fighting to where now when you, I might fake a takedown and all that explosive fast twitch is coming towards your face. I have a six, seven arm span. I'm able to, I, I like to get in close and then fully extend, but it's so it's so quick. Like I'm right at your face before you know it. And by the time I already crack your face, you might be going down. I'm picking up your legs. I'm scooping your legs because everything for me is built. Excuse me, everything for me is built off of speed. Incredible, uh, Zion. Thank you so much for your time. I know you're very busy preparing for this fight. Any message you want to send for your nameless opponent, your nameless opponent, <laughs> <laughs> uh, before you step yeah. in that octagon? And, uh... um, well, I do want to say one thing. I want to show my respect. Best of luck to you. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we can be friends after the fight. So <laughs> let's get let's go get this. Zion, I got one last question for you, my friend. Yeah. As Babcock has said, you have accomplished just some absolutely incredible things, wildly different accomplishments in your lifetime. The Netflix documentary, All American Wrestler, all the Guinness uh, Book of World Records, um, a soon to be MMA win. Out of all of these things, which accomplishment has meant the most to you personally? This fight right here, because it's a pro sanctioned MMA fight, it's going on my permanent record. The reason I became a wrestler is because I wanted to fight. And now I'm fighting. So let's get to it. <laughs> Zion, we'll all be watching. You're just obviously goes without saying an absolutely incredibly inspiring person. And uh I mean we cannot wait to watch you go one and zero inside that cage. Oh yeah.